Good morning. God bless you. It is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is an amazing day to serve an amazing God, as we always say. And we're so excited that you've chosen us to join with us today in this devotional. We've been having an amazing time this month. And so we're going to close out um, in our series entitled Grateful. And I ask that you would invite people, share the, share the, share this devotional with people and send them a link and ask them to subscribe to our page so that they can know and keep up with what's going on here at EC. Can you do that for me? Appreciate it. Um, we've been dealing with the, the topic of grateful. And as, as I've said, for those for the first time, we've been talking about um, grateful in the aspect of G-R-E-A-T-F-U-L-L, -L, meaning that we're full of the greatness of God and all that that encompasses in us, which gives us everything that we need to succeed in this life. And I hope that you've been blessed so far by this devotional. Our scripture reference is found, 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. And it says, my dear children, you come from God and belong to God. You've already won a big victory for the spirit in you is greater and far stronger than anything that is in the world. And we've been talking about having an assurance in every area of our life because Jesus Christ, the greater one, lives inside of us, causing us to be grateful, full of his greatness, full of it. Meaning that the full or the fullness of the greater one, which is Jesus Christ, is in us and abiding in us every day all day, no matter what we do, where we go, he is always with us. And we've been talking about that and, and really trying to encourage you to really just know who you are in Christ and knowing that you don't have to walk around with your head down and that God has given us boldness and he's called us to be bold and courageous. Um, and we have that assurance that he's always with us. Popular hymn says that blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. You know it. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. When we have the greater one in us, we have that assurance. We have that power. We have the victory. We are empowered to overcome. And let me intentionally be redundant and say that you have the greater one living in you. I need you to understand. I need you to get that. I can't say that enough, that the greater one is in you, active, alive, and well inside of you. And there's nothing that can stop you. Matter of fact, do me a favor, type in the chat, say, I'm unstoppable. There's nothing that can stop you. The devil can't stop you, he may try. Anything that comes against you, sickness, disease, poverty, whatever may try to come upon you, it cannot stop you. When you stand um, against adversity, you have to know that God is standing with you. And who can stand against the Lord? The song says nobody. And if the Lord is for me, then no one can stand against me. And if he's for me and if he's in me, there's nothing that is impossible to him that can believe. My question is, do you believe? Do you believe that the greater one is in you? Do you believe that he is alive and well in you? It's not being arrogant, it's just the truth. I believe that we, as the sons and daughters of God, need to get our boldness back. Everybody else is bold about what they believe in. We see it all the time on the news. I don't even have to go into detail, but you know what I mean. Everybody is, 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 is just talking about what they believe. They're not ashamed, whether it's not believing in God, whatever your views, your political views are. Nobody is afraid to speak up how they feel. And so we have to have that same boldness because God has called us to be bold. Joshua 1 and 9 says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and very courageous. He just didn't say be strong and courageous. He said be strong and very courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So that lets me know that there's no place that I can go where God isn't. But the scripture says, have I not commanded you? Meaning that it's not a suggestion, it's a command. And you wouldn't command someone or something to do, or someone to do something or be something if you didn't believe that it was possible. Stand firm on what God has said. No matter what it looks like, if he said it, he will bring it to pass. He's good for it. Our last point for this series is that Christ, Jesus Christ in us is greater than any situation. He's greater than any situation you may face in your life right now. And I know, like I said before, it may look like it's, it's, it's hopeless, but I guarantee you that if you keep your faith in God and know that he is with you, you should always be successful and you will never fail. It could be something emotional. It could be something physical or spiritual. We all have situations and circumstances. Nobody is exempt to trials and tribulations. But in every situation, we have a guarantee of victory. And a guarantee from God is all you need. It's a done deal. When I think about um, guarantees, I immediately start thinking about um, sports contracts. Um, and the main thing when an a, a athlete, whether a female or a male, um, is 
negotiating a new deal, the main thing they're worried about is how much it is guaranteed. Because a lot of times we see people with big contracts, but there are a lot of what they call clauses in those contracts for performance. So if you win the MVP, then we'll give you this extra amount. Or if you make the playoffs, then we'll give you this. Or if you score this many points, we'll give you that. But how many of you know that God, when he died on the cross, he guaranteed us life everlasting. He guaranteed us victory before we had even done anything. He died on the cross for my sins and my mistakes and everything that I was gonna need before I was even born. And that right there is enough to get excited. So again, my dear children, you come from God and belong to God. You have already won a big victory for the spirit of the Lord is in you and he is far stronger than anything that is in the world. So let's go back to it. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Who is he? Jesus Christ. And who is me? Me, duh. But if he is in me, he is everything that I need and I have everything that I need to make it through this life. So let me um, remind you as we close that no matter what you're facing in every season, whether it's your season of sorrow, whether it's your storm, or whether it's a situation that looks like it's bigger than you and it's impossible, no matter how great it appears to be, remember the greatest of all times lives inside of you. You are great, full, full of greatness. You are full of it. Let me encourage you today. God is with you. He's for you. And he's more than the world against you. Hold your head up. Walk out your house today. Be encouraged. Hold your head up. Be bold. Be courageous. Know that God is with you and he is more than the world against you. Can we pray? Father God, we thank you this month for the series that you've given us to encourage us to know who we are in you and to walk in the fullness and the boldness that you have created us. God, we are never alone. We are never defeated. You are more than the world against us. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And yea, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Help us to believe. Help us to never doubt you for who you are and for who we are in you. God, help us to know that you are the greatest of all times and that we will forever be grateful to you and grateful for all of your many blessings and what you're doing and bestowed upon us. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray. Amen. Thank you all for hanging out this month. We love you. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing weekend. We'll see you next time.